AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Our host, Bar Kelly, brings you the leading minds in AI, sharing their story, their success, and their advice. Focusing on fast-tracking you to the top, AI in Action cuts through the hype to help you kickstart your data science career. To listen to the latest AI in Action podcast, head over to www.aldus.com forward slash podcast, or subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Podcasts. Welcome to the AI in Action podcast. I'm your host, Mark Kelly. Today in the show, I'm joined by Dr. Luca Longo. Luca is the AI researcher from the ADAPT Center and a lecturer at the Technology University Dublin. In this episode, Luca will tell you about his work with AI and automatic reasoning, the challenges of working with explainable AI, and applying his research to positively impact society, and where he believes AI research is heading in the near future. Hope you enjoy listening to this podcast today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome to the show, Luca. Thanks, Mark, for inviting me. Dr. Luca, tell us a little bit about your research for people that actually don't know you and some of the exciting things that are coming out from that. Uh, Since I was a young boy, my background has always been around uh, computer science. And um, this, over the the years, has has evolved to artificial intelligence since my academic life has started. My, my, my main research is in artificial intelligence and is at the intersection of automated reasoning and machine learning. In detail, on one end, machine learning is that branch of artificial intelligence that is data-driven and it is aimed at automatically extracting patterns and features from complex data and mainly learning non-linear relationship between data. On the other hand, automatic reasoning, which is mainly knowledge-driven, focuses on formalizing reasoning processes as close as possible to the way we, as humans, reason with the partial partial knowledge, incomplete data, and often situation of uh, of uncertainty. So it's uh, something uh, very um, multidisciplinary and uh, uh, that touches uh, different uh, sub uh, branches of artificial intelligence. And why is it important to take into consideration um, automatic reasoning and partial knowledge? Okay, um, I think uh, this is connected to the problem uh, uh, we are trying to solve here. So the, the main research problem we are tackling with my team of doc- doctoral and postdoctoral researchers is um, how to combine machine learning with symbolic approaches of reasoning. In detail, we we want to focus on how to extract rules from models that we learn by employing machine learning. And these models are always often considered black boxes and produce a reasoning layer that is aimed at providing humans with more transparent and interpretable explanation on how this model, this black box models work. And uh, this research problem falls in a new new discipline within artificial intelligence that is called explainable artificial intelligence. Explainable artificial intelligence is getting really, really important because of ethics in AI and the black box models because Ultimately, a lot of negative aspects can happen from them, such as not getting uh, required loans, uh, in some cases not getting into the right university. So there's a lot of impacts from actually some of these black box that you need to be mindful for. So explainable AI is really, really important. Yes, it is. In the main challenge with this uh, approach that we call explainable artificial intelligence is that the patterns and the rules that we extract by employing machine learning are likely to be nonlinear. Thus, putting them together in a transparent and interpretable reasoning model is not a trivial task. This is a, is a, is a, is a big challenge. Also, the number of views that are extracted automatically uh, might be high. Thus, this creates a, cre- creating a simple reasoning model that is interpretable uh, by most humans is an important challenge and this is related to what you say for example about uh, ethics and privacy and the new regulation uh, the new european regulation on um, on privacy gdpr for example tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that you face to make your uh, research successful and things that you need to be really mindful for yeah um, you see um, 
nowadays we always use uh, as a researcher, as a data scientist, we, we, we try to employ machine learning and we, we can learn many interesting, uh, uh, we can extract many interesting patterns and rules and we can visualize these patterns, we can provide humans with a, um, a, a, a deeper um, level of knowledge and, and information, but uh, we need to Pro empower humans with uh, something that is more interpretable and uh, and that actually can 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 benefit uh, our our society. Um, so it's a, it, it, it's very important to, to to sit down and not only create models that are very great, but models that they can actually be employed in real world and they can actually be understood by most humans. Which is quite challenging because for it, to get them accurate is one challenge, but to get them that they're explainable, that your average uh, 10 year old will understand can be quite, quite a challenge as well. And some of the models that we probably want to put into production can be quite complicated, but they're not easily explainable. And that's, there's definitely a bit of a conflict between both of them. Tell us a little bit about some of the uh, really exciting things that are coming down the line about how we can apply this research to maybe healthcare or some other areas that can help society. Yes, this is um, yeah. This is basically what you mentioned are the benefits of, of the research we and we are doing. Combining machine learning and uh, automated reasoning can have a, a significant impact in many fields. For example, as you mentioned in healthcare and medicine, doctor can use these approaches to better learn from data and inform their decision making making in a more rational way. Also, doctor can have a better tool for communicating to patients their diagnosis in a more transparent and convincing way. Another example is, um, is knowledge representation, for instance. Imagine we build a, a machine learning model that is able to discriminate between beginning and malign tumor, tumors from brain images. So we are interested in why a certain subsection of the picture contains a malign tumor and not only that it contains it. So representing this information in an interpretable and transparent way, as you can imagine, is very, very important. Yeah, particularly getting that information across to people and if you think a doctor has been able to explain it better to patients, you know, that bedside manner will just make such an impact to their mental states as well, providing that right information. Uh, and just communicating in, in the correct way that people can actually digest and uh, probably eliminate an awful lot of worry uh, too. Let's, let's look into the future, uh, next, in five, 10 years. Where can you see this uh, going? Yeah, I, I, I was reading uh, uh, yesterday a, a, a paper uh, appeared in, the, in Nature in the, in the journal, uh, probably you know, and these guys were saying that we should stop uh, uh, learning things, employing machine learning, and then wrapping this black box uh, with an interpretable layer. And we should instead use a symbolic reasoning from scratch and employ symbolic reasoning also for learning. So I, I suppose it's a different way of, of learning from complex data, but always considering, taking into account the interpretability and the transparency of the outcome. So I think in the future we will see probably less machine learning as we know uh, and more uh, approaches, symbolic approaches for, for reasoning that incorporate both, both learning and reasoning to allow, to, to, to allow for transparency. Yeah, it, it's interesting how that approach can probably change everything we've been doing up until this uh, days because it kind of throws everything uh, on its head. It is, it is, it is. I think uh, actually I, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting uh, uh, this new, this new view. Uh, neural networks, uh, probably as you know, is, is not a, a, a something that is new. Is there for the last 30, 40 years? But with the explosion of uh, uh, processing capacity, big, uh, powerful computer, Nvidia processor, we are not able to do faster computation and learn faster. But again, we don't just want to learn and increase the accuracy of some classification tasks. We want to know why we are saying 
we, we, are, we are inferring something. And uh, as you can imagine, for education, for healthcare, for medicine, for ethics and privacy, the why, it's, it, it's the, I think it's the next big challenge and uh, where we're going in the, in, in the future. You're listening to the AR in Action podcast. I'm your host, Mark Kelly, and we're speaking to Dr. Luca Longo, the DAP Center at Technological University Dublin. And we've been talking about symbolic reasoning, transparency, learning and interpretability, and partial knowledge and automatic reasoning. How can people find out a little bit more of your research, Dr. Luca? We'll, we can, uh, you, they can go to my homepage, lucalongo.eu, EU, um, like Europe. Uh, so a part of my my Italian accent, <laughs> and um, but they can Google me or uh, go on YouTube and uh, and uh, watch my TED talks or the interview I've done at various conferences worldwide. Dr. Luca Longo, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much. AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Aulus offer an exec search program. Aulus can help you discover how data science and AI can transform your company. With our unrivaled network of C-suite executives and senior AI professionals, we offer retained search services across the US and Europe. For more information, contact mark at aldus.com. Get the Aldus advantage. Become a member of the Aldus community and enjoy some of the following. AI meetups. Once a month, our community gathers to listen to some of the leading experts in the world of data science and AI. Our speakers come from all over the world, including Dublin, Boston, and Frankfurt. We also have our AI mentors. Our experts will provide mentoring to all us members. And don't forget our AI in Action podcast. Each week, we have guests from all over the world talking us through their education, career, and more. Become an Aldus member and get the Aldus advantage. For more information and to sign up for our newsletter, log on to www.aldus.com. Dot com. That's www.aldus.com. Aldus International, empowering through AI.